before we kick this off, I just gotta say, Valheim, I fucking love it. From its innovation and amazing fucking design, to its simple and easy managed food system and its combat. Just makes it a fucking masterpiece. It's so amazing. But as much as I love it, I've always felt like there's just one goddamn thing in this game that I feel like deserves more love than it has gotten, really. Oh, you already fucking know what it is. It's the fucking skill system. Another thing that kind of ticks me off about the game is the weapon variety. And what I mean about that is there's no real choice or there's no point for players to choose uh, any particular weapon or stick with it in the game. Unless you want to. Not that that's really a bad thing, but uh, I just think it could be changed up a little. So let me introduce what I call Skills 2.0. A complete overhaul of the skill system in its entirety. First, let's start at the skill menu itself. We're totally unaltered, but let's start by selecting a specific skill to inspect. Once a specific skill is selected, it'll bring you to the corresponding skill tree. Here, we're going to take a look at the club skill. Here you will see your current skill level and a complete new edition of what I call skill perks. So let's go over how to get these perks. First we need to go over what I dub Forsaken Tears, as you can see on the right. For each specific boss killed, you unlock that boss's Forsaken Tier, unlocking the ability to get the perks in that tier. And to go alongside that, you need to level up to get those specific perks. For example, let's say I killed Bone Mass. I would unlock his tier, and I would need to level up to levels 25, 30, and 40 in clubs to unlock those specific perks. But what happens when we kill the final boss in the game at the moment, and also get to the max level? Well, then we would achieve what I call Skill Mastery, which would give that weapon an overall minus 10% stamina usage rate and plus 30% damage to the weapon. A system like this would greatly complement the leveling in the game at the moment and give more players to do and chase to incorporate into the progression of the game. But what kind of perks can we even expect? Well, first, let me introduce you to the special bow perk, Obsidian Armament, which allows bows to overpenetrate targets and hit multiple enemies at the same time. Or the special club perk, Strength of Ymir, allowing for a 10% chance for all clubs to stun a target for 3 seconds. Now it's still important to note that at each tier you can only choose one perk from the rest. For example, at level 70 I can only choose one perk out of the four given. This would allow for more replayability and build crafting for early and late game. And it would let you mix things up and switch perks on the fly to maximize your Vikings capabilities. I believe a system like this would let players replay the game countless times, trying new weapons they haven't before, and maximizing skill builds, making the game deeper with multi-tiered skill trees to perfect your weapons and challenge players to try new ones to sink their time into. Now if that sounds like something that you would like, give me some fucking love in the comments, give me some suggestions, I don't give a shit. Love ya. Bye, I love you.